What's going on guys, Alec here from Oz Fury Gaming. Today I'm here to talk about Anthem and some of the details that have been reported by the likes of PC Gamer and the Express over in the UK. To start us off with, the storyline of Anthem is going to be completely different to anything that they've done in regards to Mass Effect, where they're not going to have this really gritty, detailed game where it's going to be everything making sense and all this logical things going on where everything's explained. It's going to be based around Star Wars science fantasy sort of gameplay where not everything makes sense, but it's cool, so we run with it. This brings along to the fact that they're trying to make the game run for 10 years, so I can see that working in their favour. Now, the game's going to be set around too with campaign and missions not so built around story, but more about sort of sucking us in as a human desire slash, you know, interactions in regards to the company's build-up and how they do things. Now, as we move into the here, guys, brings on the next topic I wanted to talk about is the way we'll be viewing the world. So, in the hub, it'll be first person, so we'll be able to, you know, not get any weird camera angles, I hope, like we do, say, such as Destiny and things like that, where you are third person. But when we enter into the good old wilderness of this alien planet, we start to see that, well, we actually do go third person, and we get to experience this beautiful artistic look at what the javelins can be and how we build them up, and just this beautiful lighting off the armor. Next thing as well about the armor is we have a jetpack, and as we know, it's not just a glider jetpack, it's actually a thrusting jetpack which allows us to elevate up. Now, this will be player control. It's not going to be an animation or something to go between one place and the other. Moving on from here, guys, we're going to talk too about how we experience the wilderness and how random events occur. Like I said before, with having the missions based around human, well, interaction, you know, based on the people in the company, the countries where they're from, the religions and things like that, we can see that different aspects of the game will really suck in different parts of us and make us understand other people's view, uh, views as well, which I think would be really nice for a game, considering Bioware can really write a good story. I'm really interested to see how this works, and if it does flop, which I don't think it will, I reckon it'll hold up, but... You know, you've, you've always got, when someone's trying something new, you go, maybe it might not work. So, we just got to keep watching, guys. Now, as we see with this Shape of Storm, I'm going to use this as an example to say that I really hope that Bioware can sort of pick the right way to attack it. You know, and not go, oh, there's a Shape of Storm, you've got to fly into it and go beat some boss. Something similar to like Destiny, for example, when you're doing the campaign. Now, I'll be picking the shit out of Destiny for examples like this, probably against the game, because I've spent a lot of hours on Destiny, and these are the things that really struck me as annoying. You can look past it, but it is annoying. So I really hope that they can take away from other games and what their mistakes have been and really boost Anthem to be great. Now, take a look in the left-hand corner here, guys, as we change across screens, and notice it says 4K resolution not available in all platforms. This makes me question if the good old PS4 Pro is going to be able to do 4K, because as we saw here, Anthem was actually in 4K at the E3. So it brings into question, guys, what are we going to be seeing in regards to the PC specs as well, because it is confirmed for PC, and where is it going to be going? You know, I'd expect the PS4 Pro to be able to handle it in 4K, but saying that, though, the Xbox One X is a hell of a lot more powerful. So we've you know got a lot of time ahead. It's not until fall 2018 when this game releases. So stay tuned, guys, for more information. I'll be keeping up to date as much as I possibly can. Thanks for watching again, and I hope to catch you guys around. Toodaloo!